Yeah, right, guys. Hope you're all okay out there. Today we're having a beef and broccoli dish. And the main ingredients for this are at the front. That's the broccoli, the beef, garlic, ginger, spring onions and carrot. And the sauce and marinade ingredients are at the back. And they are Shaoxing rice wine, oyster sauce, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce somewhere. Oh, there it is over there. Corn flour, black pepper this time, bacon soda, sesame oil and sesame seeds, and a bit of sugar. So, let's get on with it. Okay then, clear the board and slice the beef. I'm using a bit of sirloin for this. You can use um, any sort of beef you want really, but I can't see the point in using a cheap old bit when you can use a decent bit and reduce the cooking time. Very thin slices across the grain. And what we're going to do with this one is we're going to soak the strips of beef in water. And what this does, this pulls out the blood. And when we cook the beef, it will stay a nice pale brown colour rather than a dark brown or black colour where the blood has burned. Try it, you'll see the difference. I'm just taking the stalks off this tender stem broccoli. You could use uh, calabrese for this as well. Slice the carrots diagonally and the same with a spring onion. Smash the garlic, peel it and finely mince it. Peel the ginger, or is it skin the ginger? Never worked that one out really. And slice it into some nice little pieces. And we're making the sauce next. So, a bit of oyster sauce. And some light soy sauce. A splash of dark soy. Dark soy adds a bit of colour and a little bit of salt. In with the sugar and black pepper. We need a thickening agent for when the sauce starts cooking, so I'm using corn flour. You can use potato starch. Always a good idea to mix it up with a little bit of water first before you put it in, especially for a sauce, not so much for a marinade. In the sauce, rinse out the pot you've stirred it in and add a bit more water to liquefy the sauce. Marinade up next. In with the rice wine, that's Shaoxing wine. Drop of oyster sauce again, I'm using a lot of this lately. Light soy sauce, corn flour and some baking soda to tenderise the meat a bit. Give it all a good mix up and set it to one side. Okay, the beef's been soaking for 20-25 minutes now, and if I hadn't have used the pink bowl, you'd see just how much blood came out of that small piece of steak. So drain it and wring it out a little bit, and toss it in the marinade and let it soak for know, 5 or 10 minutes. Okay then, time to cook the broccoli. Boil a pan of water, a little bit of salt in it, and a splash of oil. And what these two do is they keep the broccoli looking fresh. It's not like that dark green broccoli you get with your Sunday roast, if you know what I mean. If you're going to cook this beforehand, you can cook the broccoli to your taste, drain it and drop it into iced water and save it for later on. And the broccoli will stay a nice vibrant green. And like I just mentioned, cook the broccoli to your taste, firm or semi-firm or a bit squidgy. Drain it and set it to one side because we'll be using this very shortly. Okay. 
grab your marinated beef and add a good dose of oil. And what this does, it further tenderises the beef and it also stops it catching to the bottom of the wok when you first drop it in. Give it a mix up and we're ready to go. And things happen pretty quickly from now on. So, beef in. And if I said cook on both sides for a minute, it wouldn't make sense, but you know what I mean. You want to get the meat nice and brown. It doesn't matter if it's totally cooked, because there's plenty more cooking to go on in a minute. You just want to get the outside nicely seared. And you'll notice it's not gone a dark brown colour because we soaked the blood out. Freshen the wok up with a drop more oil and in with the garlic and ginger. Now fry these for 30 seconds, 45 seconds. It's hard to judge really, it's more by eye than by time. In with the carrot and spring onion. And again, another 30, 45 seconds. Nicely coated and all the flavours are coming together. In with the broccoli. And look, it's still a lovely green colour. Toss it around a bit. 45, 60 seconds. And back in with the beef. And you see what I mean now? The beef's gone back in, so it doesn't matter if it's totally cooked through anyway. Oh, about a minute, I suppose, and in with the sauce. Now bring the sauce back to a rolling simmer. Drop of sesame oil. And keep it stirring just in case it does catch on the bottom. Not much chance with all that liquid. But you notice it's getting thick quite quickly. The beef is staying a nice pale brown colour. If you try this without soaking, you, you will see the difference. It'll be a dark brown colour. One last thing to do is add a drop of finishing oil. And what this does, this just coats everything and keeps it nice and shiny on your plate. Just a drizzle and stir it in. And that's us done. Time to dish up. A quick sprinkle of sesame seeds for presentation. And that's us done. Well, here we go then. Beef's nice. The sauce is nice. Mm, broccoli is just right. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. I'm liking that one again. Well, that's supper sorted out, guys. Take care. Catch you soon.